Boy, you know what I mean? Ain't different story. You know what I'm saying? I know mad niggas that fuck with that nigga. And my personal experience with that nigga is that he's solid. You know what I mean? I caught a dirty urine in, in 07. He claimed I went, to, I went to E5. He was the porter. Nigga, pull up on my cell. I don't know that nigga. He pull up on my cell and then put the knife on it. It's before he killed Larry. Put the knife on my cell. Yo, listen, I ain't with the fly bang or none of that. But if you want some smoke, when you come out for a shower, you know what I'm saying? You can bring this shit with you and we can get it on. Spent off. Or. Uh, me and I'm thinking about that shit, I make a business decision. Lil Zip don't want that smoke, you heard? And they come back like, yo, you can take that shit with you. Nigga was like, yo, you what's the name, nephew? I'm like, yeah, he like, yo, listen, your pops my man. I don't want to do nothing to you. Like, yo, make ass with all that dude shit. I ain't let nobody do nothing to me. You know, I'm talking about shit, I ain't let nobody do nothing to me. Nigga like, yeah, all right, man. I'm like, yo, listen, man, I got some weed for sale, man. Nigga like, all right, let's get some money then, man. I'm like, all right. And then after that, nigga fed me every day, you know what I'm saying? Like, blue boy solid. This is one of the reasons why every other state say New York is soft, we fell off, we don't have it no more, because of cowards like this, these are the guys that go to prison, that be getting extorted, that be getting beat up, and they come home, and they get on this internet, and they act tough, and when they get called out, they coward down, <laughs> we have to prove ourselves two times more than others, so, after doing my due diligence on this rat coward, you know, 10 does his due diligence. I must say, the question was never asked. Why would Blue Boy just come to your cell and give you a knife? Out of everybody else that came up there, he came to his cell and gave him a knife out of the blue. Let's rewind that. Remix. Ow, 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 ow. Bring it back. Zip with the coaching drip was getting the bag. The bag in New York means he was getting some weed on the visit. He was getting a couple of dollars. <laughs> That's all he was getting. Blue Boy made it his business to tell this sucker. He, had, he made it his business to tell this sucker he has to pay. Facts. Boo Boy said you gonna pay. Zip did his uh his usual. Y'all know Zip with the drip with the cocaine drip usual. He yelled. He shook the gate. He tried to build up enough confidence to face Blue Boy. But it just didn't work. Because when Blue Boy came back to his cell, he asked him one more time. So so you not gonna pay? And you know him, when I'm not paying nothing, I ain't gonna pay. Blue Boy put that goddamn knife on that gate. Silenced everything. When he seen that knife, Blue Boy walked away before letting him know, listen, lockout on a lockout. All callouts is mandatory. Uh-huh. When you come out, it's on. Zip made a business decision, he said. <laughs> he said he made a business decision. What business? What business did you have? You didn't have no business. You was getting a couple of dollars off of weed coming through the visit. If I'm in the streets and someone step to me and want my block, want my area, want to extort me, I have two options. I either pay or I get busy in prison. The same rules apply. If you get in the bag knowing the hounds is coming for that weed, they coming for that bag, especially if they think you pussy. You're going to have to get busy. He cowered down. Zip chose to pay. And now, after getting friendly extorted by Blue Boy, <laughs> the one who was willing to kill this sucker, he was willing to kill Zip with the drip before he killed Larry Davis. He was out to kill this dummy. He now becomes the realest solid dude he ever met in prison. <laughs> Cowards in New York, man. And now you survive Blue Boy and you on YouTube calling people out and how you get busy and held it down in prison. Shut up! Shut your punk ass up! Shut your little punk little red ass up! And then, on top of that, <laughs> Zip with the cocaine drip, he said there are 8 million people in New York. And out of that 8 million, 6.5 million of them, he's smarter than all. What? He said, 
out of 6.5 million, he's smarter than the talk back to 10. I'm talking to you. Anybody but a dead body, I'm surgical with this shit. Jail rules. We don't mess with nobody that's doing nothing to no old people. No, nobody that's doing nothing to no kids. Nobody that's doing nothing to no women. Those is jail rules. We don't, don't, why those don't apply out here? Listen, uh, smarter than 6.5 million people in New York City. Protecting women, old ladies and children, isn't jail rules. Dumbass. That's a universal law. Matter of fact, that's a street rule. We don't violate women and children. Also, so if Zip with the cocaine drip was to tell another man that another man was a homosexual, right? He tell this man that this man over here is a homosexual. And then he turns around and tell the homosexual to give him some head. What would that make zip with the cocaine drip? Anybody but a dead body. I'll wait. Y'all figure it out. Talk back to Ken. I'm talking to you. Yo, son, if I seen his mother right now, I would hit that bitch with a baseball bat just to make him fight me. I don't know his mother. I hope the bitch die. I told that nigga, I hope, I'm going to throw a party when that bitch, that old bitch die. And I mean that. And the sad part is this, right? He says this about 85 year old woman zip with the cocaine drip cheers it on behind the zipper cheers it on but I just want to let y'all know something right they use Islam they use this in the name of Islam to justify their actions of what they say about an 85 year old woman <laughs> those of you who don't understand Islam or Muslims and judge us by what you hear and see on TV this is not Islam. This is not how a Muslim acts, feel towards old defenseless woman. But it's the belief and work of cowards. Talk back to 10, I'm talking to you. Anybody but a dead body. And zip with the cocaine drip. You can continue to report my page. <laughs> you can rat and report me all you want. You know what is only going to get me? Strike. One strike. I got two strikes after that. And after 90 days, they're going to take the strike off, and I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to get a strike, another strike. I don't care. You can rat all you want. The only way either of y'all guys can beat me, or the majority of people can beat me, is from a distance or sneaking me. But one thing for sure, I bet my life on it. I will die, lay down in the grave. When I see them, it will not be that same energy. I roof one of the motherfuckers. I'm talking about I will throw one. I will throw one of them on the roof. Or I put them in my car and throw them out the sunroof. Or I throw them off the roof, run downstairs, catch them, and slam them. <laughs> they lames. They soft light in the ass, man. This zip with the cocaine drip. I roof that nigga. I could roof. I could throw him to like about the seventh floor. And roof him up there with the rest of the birds. Punch him back body. Uh, Five Nation. I will wash him up. I wash him up. I know you You can't fight a man face to face. The last face to face you did. Was with Bam Bada. When he was on your belly. Find you. With all that Vaseline. Now leave me alone. Now I'm back on both of y'all high heels. Matter of fact. Matter of fact you know what. I'm going to let Wack 100 do it. Yo, Wack, talk to these lames, man. You niggas is so envious of us. You want to be like us. You fake-ass, blood, and crip-ass, New York-ass niggas who don't even know how to throw the gang sign up and say the word right. Our women is harder than you, bro. Because you go for anything, knowing it's wrong, knowing it's foul, and scared to say something to each other. Weakness breeds weakness and right now is looking real and weak new york is looking bad and tomorrow oh Paru, whack is going up with a new york room whack weak peace we going old time say and i'm gonna call niggas out on everything that i've never talked about since y'all want to talk y'all activate my name ask y'all all day 
to leave me to blow this weird shit. Y'all got to, when is New York niggas gonna take charge? When is there gonna be a real voice, a real leader? This West, this hunting side, our women is harder than you trial I've ever seen in history. Where everybody involved, the plaintiff and the defendant is all rats. Only in where? New York. New York. New York. Since y'all listen. 